In this video, I will be providing you with an example of what can happen if the California fill line is not located in the correct spot. And it's easy to mess this line up. I know it's hard to even imagine, but I've done it myself. And I will also provide you with a method that you can use to fix it. So to start the video, let's go ahead and show you what it would look like if the line is located in the correct spot and all of the fill rafters are dying into it. And I'm also going to provide you with an arrow to give us some type of reference to the line that we know is located in the right spot. So let's go ahead and move it over an inch at the bottom and we will leave it the same at the top because usually what happens here is we set our gable rafters and then level the ridge and most of the time it doesn't matter if this is off a little bit maybe two or three inches even however down here at the bottom it will make a difference and you can see here where we have moved the rafters and have them dying into the new line that we have created on the sheathing and the first thing you need to be aware of will be the fact that it will not line up with the gable roof rafter and this is actually a problem that someone recently emailed me and in order to fix it I suggested that they simply relocate the line pull it in a little bit however they could have also done this and that would simply be to relocate the last rafter or this rafter here by raising it at the bottom to straighten everything out and you can see here where the straight edges are lining up and another thing you're going to end up with if you don't fix this problem will be a hump in the roof or a raised spot and believe it or not this was also something that was mentioned a few days ago in one of the comments and uh, by a roofer I'm guessing and let's not forget that by raising this up we're also going to be creating a gap in the seat cut here and if that's going to be a problem then you will need to cut the top of the rafter to pull it forward. Next up, let's go ahead and install the fascia board. And I'm going to provide you with an example of what everything would look like if I left the length of the rafter overhang the same as the overhang on this side here. So for example, if this had a two foot overhang and this had a two foot overhang going in both directions, then this is what it would look like. The rafter over here would be up a little higher and would not be blending in and might not be something you're going to want on your property. However, all of that can be fixed by simply extending the length of the roof rafter a little bit and placing the fascia board exactly where it needs to be so that the bottom and top of the fascia board dies in nice and straight. So a simple problem to solve and of course if the line is located in the wrong spot going in the opposite direction then all all you're going to need to do will be to reduce the length of the fascia board instead of increase it. And in our last example, I will go ahead and extend this a little further and reduce the slope or pitch of the roof rafters while still having them die into the line here for the valley. To provide you with something else you could run into or even a method you could use to change the design of the roof so that you can have two different pitches or something else that will provide you with a longer overhang in one section of the building. However, before I fix the fascia board, I wanted to give you an idea of what the fascia board would look like if I didn't change the angle and left it over here, the one that would die into this line here, so that you won't be confused and think think that the rafters and fascia board will have the same cuts. And when you're doing something like this, you might need to lay out new roof rafters or extend the height of the lower wall. And let's not forget that the upper plumb cuts on the rafter or vertically level cuts when assembled might need to be recut or adjusted. And of course, here you can see where the slope is going to be a little lower here and a little steeper here. And of course, the overhang is going to be a lot longer. And as always, if you have any questions at all about any of these designs or even feel like sharing a story with us about a problem that you might have ran into like this, then feel free to leave those comments and questions in the video comment area. And let's not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you learned 
something new and now have another trick up your sleeve for dealing with a situation like this.